Hello everyone! Today we're going to be showcasing the characters in Undertale Last Judgment just started. So, starting off with Pacifist Sands, let's see what they do. I have Determination Sword, 500 health. Alright, this attack is called the Bone Throw. Alright, this is going to be really slow paced if you name all of them. Let's see, after this match, I think I'm going to suggest that we switch because, well, doing this via text is pretty slow. Bone Zone, not really doing much. And that's it. Yep, about 10 dodges, 1 health, so once you run out of dodges, you are just about dead. So, we might as well cut because what's going to happen is they're going to die in a moment. So, here we go. For our first move, we have Bone Rain. Basically, some bones are going to rain from the sky. They're going to be different colors, orange, blue, and white. As you might imagine, they don't deal much damage. I can throw a little time bomb done. Looks like it did 4 damage, but then it can actually explode for quite a bit they're standing on top of it. Next we have Bone Zone pops up for Blue Bone. That actually did a lot of damage. So where are the wise? Don't stand in that. Now both of these blasters just kind of shoot out a color. Looks like 4 is the blue blaster. And 5 is the orange blaster. Or no, they can both be blue. Very interesting. As you can see, 13 dodges for science, and that's about it. They can only survive one hit. Next character, we have Blueberry. For our first move, we have a little bone zone here. For our next move, we have a bit of a different type of zone. It means some little cage. And people who are in it can't leave until it's gone, but it doesn't exactly last long. Now for four, I can do a blue attack. Alright, so it takes their jump away. And for my final move, a little bone wave. You're going to notice a lot of these characters have a fairly straightforward playstyle. I'm not sure if later characters will have newer or um, more varied playstyles, because I haven't exactly gotten to them yet, but this character has two dodges and is the first character that can actually take hits. Granted, a decent weapon will quickly eradicate this character, as you can see in just a moment. Here we go. Next up, we have Underswap Papyrus. Starting off, you got a bone throw. Oh, not just a bone throw, you can shoot a bunch of bones, so it's more like a bone wave. Oh, another kind of bone wave, but this one, not projectiles, just comes out of the ground. You got a blaster, it looks like it's orange, but it does not miss people who are not moving. What's this gonna do? Oh, wow, that's actually- Oh, this is really cool, alright. How long does this last? Alright, I'm betting that because that's called a special attack, it's a once per match use. And then lastly, a bone spin. This character has 15 dodges, making them quite durable compared to previous characters. And now we have Sans. Let's see what Sans can do. Starting off, 15 dodges and a blue attack. Oh, I remember seeing Underfell have a similar move. Just filling up the corridor back and forth with... Just kind of bone waves and blue bone waves. For our next move, we can shoot out some bones. White and blue. Bone zone. Fairly standard. And now this is going to be a plus sign type of blasters. For our force, we can just kind of push people away, presumably in the direction I'm facing. And for the last move, shoot a blaster. Pretty simple stuff. 
here we go. So let's see what we have here. Starting off, our bone throw. Standard stuff, blue and red bones. Theovania version 3, I think, is what's playing. Bone zone. We got a different ver or a recolored version of the classic attack. We got one extra dodge, a plus set of blasters, and yeah, this character seems to be roughly the same as classic. I'm gonna guess they probably have extra damage, but that's about it. As usual, the really strong looking attacks, they fill up the whole corridor, are one time use. And yeah. Gravity bones, what's this gonna be? Oh, just a, another little bone toss thing. Star. Oh, okay. So you shoot a blaster and a bunch of stars come out in a circle. Star blazing, what's this gonna be? Just a single star falls and bursts into a really nicely animated set of attacks. Then we got a bit of star rain. I'm wondering if any of the. Oh, supernova, this has to be a final attack, right? Oh, maybe not. It, it looks like it's just a regular attack. Can I get any serious damage on Chinese here? Doesn't look like it. I've certainly done a fair amount, but... Oh, my jump height might be increased. I'm jumping fairly high up. If I just try to attack that area? Yeah, no. It looks like a lot of characters are not able to really keep up with high amounts of health, and that's not a surprise at all. I'm using gear that's much higher than my character's win count, or rather Chinese is using that gear. Now this one is something I've seen people use a bit. Only eight dodges, wow. Double blasters. Then we got this move. Now this one actually has multiple uses. Bone spin. Stand inside of that and you will be somewhat safe. It looks like I'm not dealing too much to them. What's the purple flame? Or Oh, I get it. It's like the one attack from the fan game. Force them away. I'm finally noticing some actual damage about this time. Sure, they're running into my attacks and enduring them, but previous characters haven't seemingly been able to deal so much damage. Let's keep trying to blast them. I already know this character doesn't have a phase two. There we go. And now, it looks like Sans characters are starting to have health a lot more often. Dust had 400 and Hardtail is 500. Okay, got a standard little bone shot. Multiple colors though. A bone throw, it's spinning. Oh, you shoot multiple ones. Do they come from me or they return? All right, that's pretty cool. Standard plus blasters. And what's this? It's flaming for Force Blast, it's not doing anything. Alright, I managed to get the move to work. Unfortunately, it seems to have a sizable cooldown, but what it does is that- oh, there we go. It's a really strong force. There we go. And now we're playing Delta. So, 21 health, 10 dodges, starting off, standard bone zone, and a warning before shooting out a wave of bones. Now what's this? Oh, just a blaster. Now, if I get close to him, I can punch him. Doesn't do much damage, but here, I have my bravery fist. I shoot an orange attack. Looks like... Oh, it had a little bounce.
Try to run into those. All right. So orange attacks still hit you despite the fact that you're moving. And yeah, melee attack. Now they can go ahead and bring me into my next phase. Come on, a couple more hits. There we go. So after I've been hit enough, phase two begins where I have 500 health. No, 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 don't attack me, don't attack me. Let's see, for my first move, I can force everything away in a little blast. My next move, I have a little rage. Oh, and I get to shoot a bunch of fists. That's awesome. All right, bone wall. Self-explanatory. Jetpack. Looks like it's a little dash move. And then Mouth Blast. I, I love how everything is knocked back, making them really annoying to fight if they get you right where they want you. And then when I'm in trouble, just dash away. And I'm dead. And now for our next character, we have Underfresh Sands. Starting off, looks like we have a bit of a melee weapon. 420 health for the memes. 13 dodges. Now, we got a colorful blaster. We got a move called Dance Party. Causes everyone around you to start to begin dancing. Or, well, dabbing more like it. We can shoot Furbies at people. That's not traumatizing at all. Radical what? Oh, just colorful bones. And now, Disco Ball. I don't know if this deals damage, but it looks cool. Melee weapon, come on. Deals a fair amount of damage. This character can actually kind of beat people up with their bat. I'm barely hanging on though. Come on. Next up, Glitch Tail Sands. Starting off with 20 dodges. We got a blaster circle. It actually looks pretty strong. Blaster ride. Oh my gosh, I get to ride a blaster? This is awesome. Can't I just stall the whole match? No, it, it does have a cap. Blaster wall. Alright, got a bunch of blasters. Got another gaster blaster. Random blasters. Oh, like the dust tail move. And rotating blasters. That's actually kind of threatening. It appears that the blaster riding move is a one time use, unfortunately. This character certainly has quite the amount of damage, though. So I'm, I, I'm thinking that we're hitting the really useful characters now. And they're only going to get better from here. It's time to be Dust Swap. We got Dusty Air and Triple Bone Wave. Yeah, that's pretty big. We got Tri Blasters. A Giant Blaster. Fires roughly down the center. A Giant Bone. Just falls from the ceiling. We got... Fair amount of dodges, that, that isn't coming up. Bunch of bones coming from the back. Triple bone spin. Go ahead and do your thing. That looks difficult to dodge if you aren't expecting it. Thankfully they have another life. And eradication. 
And now we're X tail. 1,000 health, but only 5 dodges. So we got a X event. Big ol' X. Does a bit of damage. We got an X slice. Looks like I teleport and maybe hurt them. We got an X blaster. We got X bones. Oh, I get it. Let's try that X slice again. Yeah, it looks like that's what it does. And then I have a little knife. Probably does melee damage, but it's also a ranged weapon. Now, if we use hack knife... It says I'm controlling them. I don't know if that's the case. Well, then how do I control them? I don't feel like I'm controlling them very much, but I'm probably doing it wrong. Come on. There we go. And there we go. And now we're Epic Tail Sands. Starting off, we got a big old blaster. We got 20 dodges. We got a bra zone. And this is a bra bone. Oh, this is going to be one of those moves where they get rushed, right? Bra moment. What's this? I get to freeze time. Now it's chicken. And bra beam. Is time stop a one time use? It looks like it's either a high cooldown or a one time use. Here we go. Certainly looks like they're pretty strong. The most important thing about this character. The sound you make when you use your chicken. It appears time stop does not have a infinite cooldown. You can use it multiple times. In fact, looks like you could just blast people while they're stuck in time. And now we're true fresh. 13 dodges. 5 health. Red laser. Looks powerful. Tentacle slam. Looks like it's a little shock wave where it lands. Stab tentacle. Wait, what? Let me try this. Body swap. Wait, what? Take two. So, last time I suddenly won. Not sure how that happened. Parasitic Flame, what's this going to do? Anything? Nope. Let's see these three moves in action. And then last time when I used this move, I won. Let's see if that happens again. Yeah, that's really weird. Wow, this is quite the arena. Let's get right to this. For our first move, we have a- oh wait, zero dodges? One under 1100 health. Let's see what positivity does. No extra speed. I don't see anything that's happened. I have a melee weapon. Shoot stars. Have some arrow rain. They deal some solid. Oh goodness, they deal solid damage. Wait, I feel like I was being moved. A dream bow. I have a heal. Oh, I can stand in and heal. That's nice. Tracking stars. I imagine I'm going to be dying soon. Oh no. And now we're using killer. 
For our first move, we have a Goop Blaster. 16 dodges, 99 health. So weaker characters, or weaker weapons can't do quite as much. Jeez, they already are down alive. I have a knife. Does it? It does slash. They're bleeding? This has bleed on it. Rapid slashes. Alright. Circle shoots a bunch of slashes. Slice. Teleport away. Sharp bone. I get to shoot a bunch of shots. Lots of bleed. I get a void. Go ahead and try to avoid this one. Did I take their speed away? Very neat. Here we go. After tail. One health. 20 dodges. First move. Bunch of colored bone walls. Next move we got a giant bone zone. Alright. We got dual blasters. We got a surprise blaster. That is a surprise. Bone barrage. From both directions. And determined force. That wasn't as strong as I was expecting. It's about this point that characters are seriously starting to deal damage. Without much effort, both Killer and Aftertale have been really packing some threats. So, later characters? Chinese, actually, in between rounds, showed me a couple. They are terrifying. And now we're playing Error. 1 health, 13 dodges, 7 moves. For our first move, Error Blaster. Error Bones. And now let's get some strings in here. If someone touches these strings, I believe they get slowed. Let's try it. Oh yeah, they got slowed. Soul String. There's something blue on their bar. I guess it's blue poison or something. Glitched Bloster. Error Bones. I don't see the bones for the... Oh, there they are. Just a bunch of bone zones. And then glitchy force. Alright, now a bunch of moves. Alright, this character looks like they can do quite a bit. Though I have to say that after seeing what some of these other characters can do, they probably do less damage than some lower win characters. Six thousand health yeah I'll send that in a moment I'm just don't mind that yeah they have a special weapon one member of the enemy team will randomly be granted this weapon and it's probably gonna deal extra damage to me but first time stop I change colors neat all right I'll stay still for a moment Looks like the dream stuff isn't required, but boy does it hurt me. Got a nice tentacle there. Got a tentacle slam. Now that did damage and had a shockwave. Got a huge void. Like, look at how big this is. Covers the whole planet, basically. And goop spikes. All right, determination while well, I'm down. And now I'm using Limbo Sands. Starting off, our blue bone attack. Oh, it's just a standard corridor fill up. Looks like a strength of this character is how dark everything is. Harder to see everything. Looks like I'm still dealing some heavy damage. Let's try the quad blaster. Very nice. Yeah, it looks like this is a standard Sands, just using darker patterns. Alright. I have to say, I still have not gotten used to the fact that I'm not using stamina. 
I have to say, this is a really interesting way to go about things, not having to stand on characters, just cooldowns. So let's move on to the next character. Shattered Dream Sands time. Starting off, we have Negativity. That looks cool. I don't know what it does, but it looks cool. Next up, we have some negative arrows. Now, if I remember right, this was a pretty powerful move in on Dream. So this is probably really powerful on Shattered Dream. We got our bow, we can take some shots. We got a tentacle that presumably knocks people back if it hits. A negative aura. Looks like I shoot homing shots. And then a void. And boy, is this a big void. Am I facing others? I don't see anyone else. Maybe they're hiding? And void time. Alright, so that's a decent showcase of the character. No dodges, but 2,000 health. Pretty strong. And now we have Disbelief. For our first move, we have Sands. Oh, this must be... We have a weak bone attack. And then we got some bone walls I can shoot. Dual blasters. And a spinning bone. Now what's interesting about this character is it's not displaying a dodge chance, but there you go. It looks like I need to lose a certain amount of health or to go into the next phase. Come on. Here we go. Now get it back. Alright, so that's the first two phases. Now I wonder, do we have another phase? Go ahead and keep hitting me. We're going to find out in a moment. Or are they sparing me? I can't tell. Oh, here we go. Our next phase. Disbelief Blaster. Nice thing is that they heal up completely. Let me enter another phase. There's no way this will have five phases, but there's a chance it might have a fourth. So I should probably let them try to bring me into that. Oh, that's neat. Sans, this whole phase is actually attacking for me. So, as a result, I get a bit of help. How long does that go? I would say that lasted a large chunk, but now, of course, it's over. And now the final part. They don't get a full heal for this segment. And it's my last chance to defeat them. We just got a bone throw and, oh, I won. Bunch of standard moves. Still though, four phases means a lot of opportunities to kill the enemies, so I imagine Disbelief's a decent character. We got a fairly peaceful theme, 1750 health, and we're playing for a fell. Looks like we have a melee weapon, Cleaver. We can throw an axe. And I'm assuming the blink is a teleport. No? Interesting. I can drop a bear trap. What happens if someone steps on it? They get trapped. Makes sense. I got an axe barrage. What's this gonna do? Just shoot two axes. Oh no! Multiple axes were happening there. Looks like they just kind of go across the room. We got a bone wave. That is a terrifying bone wave. Now let's try blink again. It blinks me to another player. Interesting. Now do I get another phase? Oh! So when I get low on health, spiked bones pop up everywhere, and it looks like now they don't have as many places to run. 
I get a blaster? The blaster is just chasing him and trying to eat him. This is amazing. There we go. Oh, I ran out of time. Here we go. I'm the one. Oh, wait, shoot. And now it's TS time. For our first move, we have bone jumps. Simple row of bones. We can summon a bone cage, which would both protect the person if no one else is in it or trap them in it. We can shoot more bones, a lot of standard moves. We can even summon a spinning bone and a second spinning bone. Alright. Only 16 dodges. I wonder if I have a phase 2. It looks like a pretty core strategy is to place a bone cage down. And then if someone stays in it, you just kind of kill them because you can use all your moves in the cage. And now we're Reaper. For our first thing, we have a Scythe. Looks like a melee weapon for our next thing. We've got a blaster called a Death Blaster. Nothing special, standard blaster. We got Reaper Bones. They shoot for a little bit. A Death Zone. Alright, what does Death do? Something really cool, right? Well, I got a Void. Oh my gosh, it just deleted that person. Now, considering the fact I don't have a health bar visible and I have zero dodges, I assume there's a second phase. Let's find out. Let me quickly blast AFK. Or not. No, alright, it just doesn't tell you how much health you have. And now we're playing Dust Belief. I already know this character. Doesn't have another phase, just 7 dodges, 1500 health. Let's get blasting. Got a couple standard blasters. Got a bone zone. Bone throw. Bone barrage. Oh, bone barrage looks strong. And a big bone spin long being able to shoot a bunch of these. And that's the whole kit. Now, because I haven't won yet, that probably means, yep, someone's AFK. There we go. GG. And now, let's get started. So, 21 dodges. I have 5 moves called Borrow. When I use them, I get a move from another character. My understanding, they can even come from characters above ink. So let's see. We got a standard bone zone here. Oh, this is a big ol' one. We got... Okay, standard blaster, a bra beam, I remember this one from a giant bone, and negative aura. So because this can use moves from any character, there isn't really a way for me to showcase exactly what this character does besides what they could hypothetically do. Wow, it looks like this negative thing was a really good pickup because it's dealing tons of damage. So yeah, it in theory could be either useless or really powerful if I understand correctly. And now we have some higher love. These were playing higher LV dust. Only 10 dodges and 800 health. I wonder if there's another phase. Well, let's get right to what they can do. Starting off, we got a standard bone throw and a bone zone. Oh, it's one of those. It's more like a bone uh, arena. We got a dust blaster. Triple. Cool. We got a force. Purple flames. Are these homing? They are. We got spear. Send a bunch of spears in a single direction. And lastly, a fairly sizable bone spin. I have to say, health-wise, this character does not seem very durable. But again, they might have another phase, or perhaps their homing attacks and whatnot make up for that. I think that's going to be it for today's preview. We've showcased quite a lot of characters. And unfortunately, I don't have the wins to showcase many more. So yeah, I'm going to stop here for today, and perhaps another time I will showcase further 
into the game. I hope you all enjoyed the showcase, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching this.